In this video, I am going to explain anatomy of nervous tissue. Today's nerve is suprascapular nerve. Suprascapular nerve, which is this nerve. As you see, the course of this nerve is very, very unique. That means this nerve is easily get damaged or impingement. Okay, where is suprascapular nerve from? It is from cervical spine 5 through 6. So, C5 through 6. Okay, and this kind of variety, the few percentage is that some people's this nerve is from also C4. Okay, majority is C5 through C6, but minor part is C4. Not everybody, very few people, okay? Origin is C5 through C6. Minority is C4. Let's see its course again. It's from C5 through C6. Go through. You don't see, but there is a tiny hole. There's notch. There's scapular notch here. It passes along supraspinous fossa supraspinal fossa where supraspinatus originates, okay? Supraspinal fossa, then this nerve shows up from here. Then it bifurcates here. This bifurcation is very, very important. I will explain why. Okay, now I need to talk about innovation of this nerve. This nerve innovates two muscles. One thing is this one I was just talking about. This is supraspinatus. Supraspinatus. And next one is this one. This is infraspinatus. Imagine this nerve is running like this. Okay? They run beneath these muscles okay this is motor supply this nerve innovates supraspinatus and infraspinatus there is also sensory innovation where is that this nerve innovates two joints here and here this is a chromioclavicular joint chromio clavicular joint. It's not movable joint. However, this is important for shoulder movement. Why? Because movement of clavicle is very important for scapula and shoulder movement. In fact, when somebody has flexure, it's so hard to move shoulder. Why? Because when you move shoulder, the scapula, clavicle, you have pain when you have fracture here, right? Thus, this acromioclavicular joint is important for shoulder movement. This suprascapular nerve innervates acromioclavicular joint. That's very important. Makes sense, right? One more joint, which is here. This is glenohumeral joint. Simply, it's shoulder joint. Shoulder joint, suprascapular nerve takes sensory information from shoulder joint, particularly on posterior part. So what if your suprascapular nerve got damaged or impingement? Maybe that irritates sensory information of shoulder joint and acromioclavicular joint. What's going to happen? Maybe you have pain or numbness around here. Thus, this nerve is freaking important. Okay, motor supply, supraspinatus, and infraspinatus. Sensory branch, glenohumeral joint, which is shoulder joint, and acromioclavicular joint. Now, let's see its course again. Now, you can see more clear relationship with muscles and joint. Okay, this is kind of skeletal view. This is suprascapular 
nerve is from C5 and C6. It passes kind of in the scapula, it passes supraspinous fossa where supraspinatus originates from, then it shows up here. It runs deep to what muscle? Infraspinatus. And this branch takes sensory information from shoulder joint. And it also takes sensory information from a cromioclavicular joint. You see, there is sudden curve, kind of steep curve around here. So when somebody uses scapula a lot, shoulder movement a lot, outside, inside, in any direction, maybe there's friction on suprascapular nerve. Okay, then what kind of tissues is this innervating? Infraspinatus, supraspinatus, shoulder joint, and acromioclavicular joint. This is very important nerve for shoulder. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.